My name is Jordan Tyler. I'm a 5'10 receiver coming out of the University of North Texas. And honestly, my last season in college wasn't that good. So we'll have to see how I get drafted. And due to me not having a really great last season in college, my agent is telling me that I need to go crazy in this combine if I even want to have a chance at being drafted in the first round. Honestly, I'm expecting to go in the second round just because my height, I'm not really much of a route runner. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm more of like a, a Kadarius Tony type of receiver. So we'll see how this goes. Gotta go crazy in the combine though. And here at the combine watching us is one of my favorite route receivers of all time, Chad Ochocinco. So you already know I'm gonna have to go crazy. He told me before the combine, I need to show off what I got. And I got him. The first thing we had to do was the bench press, which really isn't that important as a wide receiver, but Honestly, I still did pretty good at the bench press, getting 19 reps, which was 13th ranked in the wide receivers. And now the 40-yard dash, which is why I've been waiting for this entire time. And I know here I'm going to show out because I'm probably the fastest receiver in the draft. And here I run a 4-2-8. I know I could have did better, but hey, man, that's still pretty fast. Number one out of all wide receivers. And you know, with being a smaller receiver, I have to be really athletic. And here on the broad jump, I get a 12-foot broad jump, which is obviously number one out of all receivers. And now the 20-yard shuttle, which is something I thought I would have easily won because of how quick I am. But surprisingly, Jackson Smith and Jigba beat me by 0 .06 seconds. I, I don't, that's crazy. Now for the final drill, I had to run routes, a little route tree thing. Now look, I'm not much of a route runner, so you know, you know what I'm saying. But I'm more of a wide receiver that if you get that ball in my hands, I'm going, I'm going to do something with it. But here I end up getting six out of eight, which is still pretty good, and I think that's going to make my draft stock pretty, pretty good. And lastly, in attempts to try to raise my draft stock a little higher, my agent wanted me to try to go into a little interview, asking some questions, but me. Honestly, I wasn't trying to answer no questions. Whatever whatever I am is what I'm going to be in the draft. It is draft night, and none of my family showed up to support me while I get drafted. But Primetime showed up to be here with me, and my phone started ringing. Now, this was very surprising to me. I was drafted number 14 even after the very mediocre last season in college I had. I guess I played that well in the combine that the Patriots want me to be the receiver one or something. And hey, we're going to see what happens. But hey, man, look, we're in my first training camp practice before the preseason starts. And honestly, I have that. I, I, I had a pretty bad camp, actually. Like, my route running is so mediocre. Like... Honestly, I'm just, I'm just so surprised I was drafted that high. I have barely any route running. I'm more of a get that ball, get to juking people, and that's how I get my yards. So hearing this little 1v1 drill, I, I, I couldn't really do too much. But I'm going to have to work on that stuff through the season. And eventually, I'm going to be able to be a number one receiver. But man, I ain't going to lie. This training camp was bad. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to have to show off in the preseason. Now listen here. This season can either go up. Or it could go down because our quarterback is Mac Jones. We have a pretty decent running back. And honestly, I'm surprised. Coach has me number one wide receiver over Juju, Devontae Parker, all these other receivers. I don't know, man. We'll see. It is now my first preseason game. And in this game, Coach is going to let me play the first quarter. So I'm going to have to do as much as I possibly can in that first quarter. Hopefully, Mac Jones gets me that ball. On my first play of the game, Mac Jones tried to get me going early. He just throws this ball up, a jump ball to me. Now listen, mind you, I'm 5'10". I don't think I'm getting those. Then on third and 10, I'm running a little post route, trying to get the first down. Mac Jones running to the right side and throwing left, crossbody. I don't know why he threw that. Could have been picked off. But Mac Jones makes up for that dumb pass and throws this dot to the back of the end zone to Devontae Parker. He's probably truly our number one. 
Now this play right here is the reason why they drafted me to this team. Running the streak, beating that boy over the top. Matt Jones putting that on the money 50 yard catch for my first. We win the first game of the preseason 27 to 6 and honestly one quarter 54 yards with one catch that's pretty good now we're in game two and bill belichick is finally giving me a play that is pretty useful for me because i use a lot of jet sweeps and like screen plays in college but then on third and seven may jones throws an out route guarded by jair alexander and of course he's gonna make him drop that ball now, i don't know what it is with mac jones and throwing bad passes in the coverage but Bro, you, you, he gonna have to stop doing that in regular season. Now this play right here was a little weird. I'm running the streak and it turned into a broken play because the offensive line is blocking pretty well. He just throws his ball and I run back to it and catch it. And that was my first catch of the game. I knew eventually the Packers pass was gonna get to us. I just didn't know when. They sent the blitz and got a sack. Then on third down, I beat this DB off the press. I could have got this ball. He could have just threw the ball over, just a little live pass. And we probably would have had a touchdown, but we didn't get the first. But on fourth and one, Matt Jones throws a dot to the slant on the other side of the field, getting the first down. As much as I wanted this touchdown bad, Matt Jones finds Devontae Parker open for a touchdown. Telling me he's our number one receiver. He's going crazy this preseason. Down 14 to 7 and on first and 10. I get the first down by doing the out route. And that ball was honestly bad. That should have been to the sideline. Still caught it though. Third and 10. Mac Jones decides to take a little, little check down to the running back. And I couldn't see it, but I think he dropped that pass. We lose our second preseason game. So we're one and one, losing 17 to 9. In this game, I had two catches for about 50 yards and five rushing yards. Now it's week three of the preseason, the last preseason game. I got to go crazy. Coach is going to let me play about the whole game, so hopefully I can get the ball. We're starting off this game running a little jet sweep, and y'all already know me. I'm getting this first down. I wouldn't able to get any more than that, but hey, still got it, though. On third and about two, Mac Jones could have just threw me this slant off the cut, but instead he throws to the other side of the field, and now it's fourth and one. We got to punt the ball. This play makes me scared about the regular season because I'm on a receiver screen. He sees that the cornerback is on me. He sees the cornerback knows what I'm doing and he still decides to throw the ball. It's picked off and they're already in scoring range. Like, come on, Matt Jones. You got to be better than that. And then not only that, it's third and long and I get open on this streak. Wide open and he overthrows it. I could have caught that ball and probably went to the touchdown, bro. But then after overthrowing my pass, it's third down and Devontae Parker is on the streak and he actually puts it on the money, but somehow Devontae Parker dropped the ball. That's tough. We're trash. I still don't have a catch in this game, so I got to get one. Running the end route, getting the first down. Good thing I made that catch. We ran another jet sweep and honestly, I tried to get to the outside of this linebacker, but somehow he still ended up tackling me with a dive. Here we go again. Look at receiver one on the corner route, getting this ball and scoring another touchdown in the preseason. Devontae Parker is having a pretty good preseason. Right when we thought we had something, we're down 24 to 7 in the third quarter, and Matt Jones throws this terrible pass, which is picked off and taken all the way to the touchdown for six. Wow. This is a terrible game right now, and I'm having a pretty bad game, too. I have one catch in this game, and I finally get my second one diving for it because Mac Jones is terrible. He overthrows it. Terrible preseason game for the team and for me. We lose 31-13. to I only had two catches with 20, damn near 30 yards with eight rushing yards. But, I mean, how can I get yards if my quarterback is playing like this? I, I don't know, man. All right, man, so after that very, very mid-preseason I'm in this practice trying to get my routes right because obviously right now I'm just speed, nothing but speed right now and I need to work on my routes and it really shows how mid I am at running routes in this drill because a couple of times I was hitting the tires while trying to run the routes. I couldn't really get in the zones and stuff. Yeah, it's definitely something I need to work on for real. But it's now time for my NFL debut 
my preseason was very mid. Will I be able to go ahead and show out in the regular season and prove that I'm not a bust? Let's find out. Well, what a way to start off the season in my first game with Mac Jones throwing the ball to the other side of the field. A terrible pass, terrible read. Pick six for Avante Maddox. But we cannot let that first drop hold us back. Beating James Bradbury over the top, I'm way too fast getting my first catch of my career. And not only that, I'm too fast. Making him miss his tackle in my first catch of my NFL career is my first touchdown. Let's go. Now it's a tie game, 7-7. We're running a little jet sweep. Hopefully during the season, we run a lot of jet sweeps with me because that's what I did a lot in college. We didn't get too much yards, but hey, we need to do more of that. And now with me being on the Patriots, you already know we have to get our run game right because if our run game ain't good, we're going to get fucked up. It's third and 10, and we're playing the Eagles, so we need this first down. I'm running the out route, getting open, but this quarterback did not throw the ball over the DB. He didn't throw it high enough. It got swatted. Defense actually got to stop, and it's our ball again. Third down again, and this nigga overthrew an out route. And with the guys the first down, we got to punt the ball again. Now we're down 13 to 7. I'm running the corner route, and honestly, they really was just on that play right. Yo, the Eagles defense is ridiculous, boy. I ain't gonna lie. Third down, and I thought Darius Slay was trying to press me, but he backed up off of me. So I was just wasting time dancing at the line. It's a fourth down. We got to punt the ball again. Yo, I really need to work on my catching in traffic. On first and 10, it's a slant, and I should have caught this ball. But James Bradbury made me drop the ball. That's my fault. But this play right here is all on Mac Jones. I mean, how do you throw this? How do you throw the, a curl that inaccurately? Pick to the other team, and they're already on our side of the field. This game's over, I ain't gonna lie. Somehow, defense managed to get a stop while they were already on this side of the field, so it's 20 to 7, but Mac Jones just can't throw the ball right now. The Eagles' pass rush is just getting there, getting a big sack. Now, look, third and long. I'm running a slant route trying to get over the defense, and Mac Jones threw. I didn't even want him to throw the ball. I ain't tell him to throw me the ball. He just threw it right to the, to the defender. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's 35 to 14, that's terrible. This game, I had one catch in that first quarter with 75 yards in the touchdown, but I could have did more. And honestly, I don't even want to look at Mac Jones' stats, to be honest. All right, man, after that very bad game offensively, we're going to have to try to make it up against the Dolphins. Now, with the DBs the Dolphins have and Jalen Ramsey's probably going to be following me around, we got to get our run game right, for real. Second and one, I'm on a drag route, and I'm faster than J Ram, so I thought he was gonna throw it to me, but that D line was on Mac Jones' ass. Third and ten, I'm running the post route. And honestly, Mac Jones could have threw the post route off the cut, but instead he decided to throw the ball to the other side of the field, and it's fourth and ten. Dolphins score with their driving on third and four. Is Mac Jones just overthrew a whip route, wide open whip route? It would have been a first down. And then I don't know what was going through Mac Jones' mind and why he threw it so inaccurately, but honestly, that could have been a dot. He just threw it behind me. Like, come on, bro. And then J-Ram talking shit. Third down, and I'm supposed to run the in route on this play, but J-Ram was not manned up to me, so I ran a streak instead. But the D-line just got to Matt Jones too fast. He couldn't even see how, he couldn't even see us. We are down 24 to zero. And it's finally a play where J-Ram is not guarding me. I burned his DB over the top, and Matt Jones just overthrew it. Like, oh my God. Y'all, it's the third quarter, and J-Ram has literally not allowed me to catch a single ball until now. I finally catch a ball. There we go. Now, listen here. When I tell y'all, the blitzes that the Dolphins have been using against us has been insane. I mean, Matt Jones can't even, like, he's just pressured every time. I understand the other pass is being pressured, but on third and 17, this play had no excuse. A wide-open receiver, and it was just terrible. He shouldn't even threw that anyway. It's third and 17. Now, while we're down 31 to 0, Matt Jones just decided to throw this ball up to me. I'm 5'10 with J Ram and Javon Holland on me. Did he think I was going to catch that shit? So, yeah, man, back to back embarrassing games. 31 to 0. Come on, bro. At least last game, I had a touchdown. This game, I only had one catch for 19 yards, bro. Through these two games, my performance has been very, very bad. I mean, I have been averaging one catch per game, and my routes have been very mediocre. I mean, Matt Jones has been bad too, but 
Honestly, I'm a first round pick. I should be getting open more than I have been. And coach told me that in the weight room, you know what I'm saying? So we decided that we just go ahead and get extra work in because those two games were just ridiculous. So now I am in a 1v1 drill against one of our cornerbacks. And honestly, I'm getting locked up a little bit. I mean, my routes are very, very mid, like I said, and it's something I really need to work on. But one of the craziest things about me getting drafted to this team is the fact that the people were saying, the media was saying that I was going to be a bust off rip because I was drafted way too early for the amount of skill that I had because my college run wasn't really that good. So the fact that the Patriots took me in the first round was very ridiculous of them, but I'm going to have to show the world that I'm way better than they think I am. I'm just going to have to put the work in, get my routes better. I got the speed already. We're going to be lit. I mean, we're in another division battle. And honestly, we got to win a game. And here I'm on the cross route. And Mac Jones throws me the ball finally. And I get tackled. Hey, man, that's a big game. Already starting this game off strong. First and 10, I'm running the drag run. Mac Jones throws me the ball. And I only get three yards on it, but it's cool. I already have the same amount of catches as I had in my last two games. Now, listen here. The Jets really fucked up not putting sauce on me on this play. I'm burning that cornerback and using my speed, scoring my first touchdown of the game, my second of the season. First and 10, I'm running the in route trying to get this first down, and I'm beating the cornerback, catching the ball, and securing the catch. That's a good catch right there. And you already know, we at least got to do the jet sweep one time a game at least. I'm getting this jet sweep, and this is way better than last time. We got great blocks, and I'm getting way more than just the first down. Let's go. Second down, I'm running the corner route. It's a zone, so it's wide open. Great pass, great catch. First down. On second down, Ramondre Stevenson running the stretch and the blocks were so immaculate that he just gets an easy walk-in touchdown. Up 14-7 with the ball as defense got a big stop and Ramondre Stevenson runs and gets a first down. Now listen here, on this second down, this was the most beautiful pass I done seen Matt Jones throw. Deep to the back of the end zone of Juju Smith-Schuster. That was amazing. Die. Touchdown. This is the first game our offense actually looks like an offense. Our quarterback looks composed in the pocket. And it's crazy because we're playing against the Jets while we're doing this. This is a great game right here. On first and 10, we actually run a RPO. And honestly, I hope that throughout the season, we run a lot more plays like that because I know I can get jigged. Third down, and we just coming out in a jet sweep because why not? I'm using my speed, getting to the edge, getting the first down. And then just for the icing on the cake, running the drag route, getting another touchdown. That's two touchs in this game. Let's go. This was an amazing game for us, terrible game for the Jets. We went 28 to seven. Y'all know the Jets never beat the Patriots anyway. And this is obviously my best game of the season. Eight catches, 109 yards, two touchdowns, and 33 rushing yards. Hey, I bet you the fantasy owners that drafted me, they happy now. And this is Mac's best game too. He didn't throw no picks, three passing touchdowns to almost 200 passing yards. After my performance in week three, getting two touchdowns and about 100 yards, it's clear that I'm starting to turn out a pretty good wide receiver, especially the fact that my first two games weren't too good, even though I was a first round pick. In that game, I just showed off a little bit of what I can do and my potential in this league. Because honestly, right now, I feel like I can mold into the number one receiver that they drafted me to be. But I guess we'll just have to find out. All right, man, we coming in week four against the Cowboys, and hopefully I can replicate what I did in week three and not in week one and two. Second and seven, Trayvon Diggs on me. I'm running an in row. I should have caught this ball, but I dropped it. I got to be able to make that catch. Now on third and seven, Matt Jones shot, throw the ball for a first down, but over there is Stephon Gilmore locking up that side of the field. We're starting off this game pretty bad. We're down zero to 10 on first and 10. I finally get a catch. I ain't get the first down though. We're short inches. We only need inches, so we're running the ball with Stevenson, and he gets way more than the first down. We were blocking amazing. Then on first and 10, I see the DBs playing off a little bit, so I just go ahead and do a little out route, get the first down. 
Then on second and 10, I kill Trayvon Diggs on the press. Mac Jones puts that ball on the money, and I get tackled in the red zone. Second and goal, and I'm sitting in the middle of the field wanting this touchdown, but instead he threw the ball to Devontae Parker. At least we scored. Defense played great. We're down 7-10, and Matt Jones is really targeting me against Trayvon Diggs in this game. I get another first down. Now, listen here. I might be 5-10 a little small, but one thing I can do is run through, and I will block the shit out of a cornerback. I ain't lying. Third and seven, and the Cowboys on this play was playing some pretty good defense. Matt Jones couldn't find nobody open. Scrambles to the left side of the field and just throws the ball out of bounds. That's a smart decision. Down 17 to 7 now in the fourth quarter on second and 10. I'm running a very deep corner route and getting the first down. Though we're losing by 10 in this game, Matt Jones isn't throwing dumb passes. I mean, look at this dot to the tight end that was just dropped. Like, that was a touchdown. But then on third and four, I'm running a drag and he throws his ball way too early. Almost got picked off. Just look at our defense. They got a big stop. We're down 17 to 10. We're about a minute and a half left in this game, but no timeouts. And for some reason, coach took me out the game on second and 10. I don't know what's going on. Well, we lost this game 17 to 10. I guess we was trying to run the ball because we was backed up. We got stopped. In this game, I had five catches, 87 yards. I ain't getting no rushing attempts, but pretty decent game, I guess. Matt Jones' game was just above 50% completion. Not 200 yards, a touchdown, but at least no pick, I guess. All right, man, coming into this game against the Saints in week five, I'm trying to do a little jet sweep, but honestly, them niggas was on that shit. They was reading it from the start. Third and 13, Matt Jones stays composed in the pocket and delivers his dot to our tight end, getting the first down. Like I said at the beginning of the season, for us to be good in this season, we have to be able to run the ball efficiently, and that's what we're trying to get going in this game. On second down, I'm on a drag route. He just threw me the ball. I'm trying to get the first down. They linebacker didn't let me have it. I don't care. Any DB in my way is getting fucked up whenever my running back is running the ball. I'm making that lane for him. I know y'all see that. Now, first and 10 in the red zone, and Matt Jones delivers this beautiful dot to the back of the end zone to Hunter Henry for a touchdown. They score, so it's 7-7, but on this play, Matt Jones finds Juju in the middle of the field, wide open, and ain't nobody was catching that man. Touchdown. Defense got to stop, and on second down, I'm trying to run a little screen play or whatever, but Matt Jones couldn't get the ball out in time. On third down, we're in a little simple slant concept. Try to get the completion for the first down, but they safety was on that. Alright, so that momentum we had in the first half is kind of dwindling down a little bit. It's tied game, and Matt Jones throws a pick to Marshawn Lattimore. That was a terrible throw. Why would he do that? I have only one catch with seven yards in this game right now, and I'm telling him to throw me this ball, and I'm making an amazing catch while getting hit in midair. Got us down the field, but on third and 10, Mac Jones tries to get his receiver. He throws a pretty bad pass. It's fourth down. We got to go ahead and kick this field goal. 21 to 17 in the third quarter, and Mac Jones forces this ball in, and it gets picked off by Marcus May. Yeah, they got crazy momentum right now. Look at defense doing their thing though. Matt Jones tried to throw me the ball on a slant and I end up dropping the ball. I cannot drop slants. And it just gets worse from there on second down. I'm on the crossing route, beat the guy. And then it's just an inaccurate pass. I tried to die for it, couldn't get it. Third and 10, we need this first down. Running the verse concept and he finds Devontae Parker in the middle of the field for a big first down. Out of all the balls Matt Jones has thrown, this is probably one of his best ones. Throwing this ball to the inside, the only where I can get it. Touchdown, oh my God. Defense actually allowed a touchdown, so we gotta go down the field and scoring this time. I ain't dropping that slant, first down. It seems like Matt Jones is really trying to target me a lot in this drive. He's throwing that ball perfectly, and that's a good catch too. Now on third down, we have to score on this drive. We're on the PA crosses concept, and Devontae Parker is open for a touchdown. We win this game 31 to 28. Great game. 
And in this game, I had six catches, 91 yards, a touchdown. Don't mind the negative three rushing yards. That doesn't matter. Matt Jones was 19 for 31 with 270 yards, four touchdowns, two picks. Those two picks definitely could have been avoidable. Playing against the Raiders now in week six. And just look at this bubble screen. Look at how I just, boy, the way I be blocking people is ridiculous. Now we're trying to run a jet sweep and we really shouldn't have done this. Max Crosby just blows it up. Oh my God. Then on third and 13, we're running four verts and he doesn't throw the ball yet until I run back. The cornerback didn't realize I was coming back. I get this easy catch, juke him out, trying to get a touchdown, but too many defenders there. Defense got to stop. And on first and 10, we're running a little screen play and Mac Jones throws the ball out of bounds instead of giving me the ball. Like, what is he doing? First and 10, now we see that the defense is playing back a little bit. So I'm doing a little out route, getting the first down. Then on second down, I'm running a shorter out route and he still throws me the ball and I'm making a great catch. In the red zone, I'm running a fade route and Matt Jones just completely overthrew this. That would have been a dot to the back of the end zone. And look, he think he good. I beat you. And just to show him that he ain't shit. Second and 10, Matt Jones throws his ball to me. Jump ball. I'm only 5'10 and I still dunk on that boy head topping. First and 10 and on this play, I'm just using that a little decoy. Because Juju Smith shoots that gets open in the middle of the field. Touchdown. We are up 17-0 in the third quarter. We are dominating this game. I get this screen, juke out the first defender, and my speed is just too good. It's unmatched, getting a walk-in, easy touchdown. This was our best offensive game, best defensive game. We just dominated the Raiders this game. And because of that one catch that went for all them yards, I had seven catches, 176 yards, and a touchdown, negative three rushing yards. Who cares? Matt Jones was 17 for 23, 266 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. That's his best game of the season. And as y'all can see, after week six, I'm number one in receiving leaders by 10 yards with the same amount of touchdowns as Cooper Cup. All thanks to the Raiders. And next game will be probably our hardest matchup against the Bills. They're five and one with three and three. Coming into this game against the Bills in week seven, we already know it's going to be a very tough opponent in the division. We got to be able to get some wins. All I know is the fact that Tredevious White is not guarding me because he's guarding probably Devontae Parker or something, I'm going to be open a good amount of times. It's going to be, it's going to be dependent on if Mac Jones can make the throws. First and 10, they're in the zone and I'm running a comeback on this play, but I'm not going to come all the way down on the comeback because he's sitting there. So I'm going to sit in between the zones. He throws me the ball. And that's a good little 30 yard catch. On third and goal, I wanted a fade route to the back of the end zone, but I was locked up, so Juju was open on the slant. Touchdown. Down 10 to 7, and we know this is going to be a real competitive game that we're going to have to score in, but Matt Jones throws the ball to Shadavis White, and of course it gets picked off. You can't do that. Now we're down 17 to seven. And one thing I wish Matt Jones could do is throw the ball over the cornerback. Like I have a step on him. He's got to lead it to the outside and loft it a little bit. Don't throw a bullet every time. One thing I realized we really haven't been doing this game that we really should do more of is run the ball. Cause obviously we try to pass the ball. They're probably gonna lock us up. If we run the ball, Stevenson can get a good amount of yards. We tried to start running the ball a little bit, but they've been locking it up. With third and 10 and Matt Jones finds Devontae Parker open on the sideline for a first down. It's second goal. All he has to do is throw this fade route correctly, and I would have caught the touchdown. He threw it too far to the outside, out of bounds, bro. On third and goal, since passing hasn't been working in the red zone, we tried to run the ball, but them DTs, they was on that shit. We got to settle for a field goal. Third quarter, it's a seven-point game, and we're trying a little jet sweep, but I didn't get the block I needed. That one lineman was on that as soon as they hiked the ball. Then second and 14, we're trying to receive a screen, and for some reason, Matt Jones can never do this right. He just underthrows it. Even with pressure, you still should be able to get the ball to me. It's a receiver screen. And then again, on third and 14, I get a step on his cornerback, beat him. All he has to do is put enough power into it. I guess, I guess he just ain't got enough throw power because I was burning his ass. All right, man, so we really can't score in this game right now anymore. We're, on, we're down 24 to 10 now. And I'm getting this first down. We gotta, we gotta get a drive in, a good drive. This corner finally decides to press me. I kill him off the press, and Matt Jones just, man, yo, this quarterback is terrible. At this point, we're just running out of options. We want to play that we normally don't run. Nobody really got open. Matt Jones gets sacked. What a divisional game. We lose 31 to 10. And I kind, I basically, I had a pretty good game. Five catches, 92 yards, 
It's not too bad. No touch, though. And honestly, I'm going to just say, we lost this game because of how mid Mac Jones played. Like, 53%, you got to be close to the 60. All right, y'all. It's week eight. We're playing against the Dolphins. It's back-to-back -to -back tough matchups. Last time we played the Dolphins, it was bad. See what happens this time. Now, with the Dolphins having the DB core that they have, we're going to have to run the ball in this game. And if we can't run the ball, we'll get whooped just like we did against the Bills. Though we need the run to work very well in this game, we still need Matt Jones to deliver dots like this throughout the game. We can't have him throwing picks and being dumb. But then again, like I said about the DB court, they're just so good. I tried to beat J. Ram on the end route, and I just couldn't. Matt Jones ended up getting sacked for a big loss. It really seems like anything I try to do, J. Ram is just shadowing. He's literally running the routes for me, and Matt Jones gets sacked again. Now we're out of field goal range. Still down 7-0 to zero on 30 inches. We're trying to run the ball, but... J. Ram makes a big tackle preventing the first down. I should, I, I was supposed to block his ass. First and 10, trying to run the comeback route, but like I said, this nigga is on my ass and Matt Jones gets sacked. Then on third and 17, I'm running a streak and I probably, I got a little step on him. If he just would've put this ball correctly, I would've probably caught it, but he threw it out of bounds. I mean, right now we really cannot catch a break. Our old line didn't stop blocking and everything, just getting sacked, getting locked up. It's a terrible game right now. On third down, they're in a zone, and if he just would have threw the ball to me to the sideline, I probably would have caught it, but instead he held the ball and got sacked again. First and 10, we're trying to jet sweep. Last time we tried the last game, that did not work, but this time we're trying to run. I tried to get past him, but I could not get around him. I don't have a catch yet in this game, but then we run an RPO. He throws me the ball. I finally get my first catch. Juke Jalen Ramsey ass out, getting the first down. Finally, we got something going. J-Ram hasn't been guarding me all game, and finally they're in the zone, and he's not guarding me, so I get the crossing route, getting the first down, got two catches now. We're losing 10-0, to 0, so we gotta put some points on the ball, running the ball, getting an easy touchdown. Defense did their job. They only allowed a field goal, so we're still in this game, but Matt Jones threw the ball to me on a comeback route. He did not have to throw. There was a zone under me and a zone on top of me. You could've threw it to somebody else. Well, now at this point, we're down multiple scores, and we're trying to force the ball down the field, and it's just not working. Matt Jones gets sacked. We're going to lose our second game to the Dolphins this season, 19-7. I was only able to get two catches for 40 yards and two rushing yards this game. And our passing offense has to improve. This is terrible. Only 116 yards with a pick and no touchdown. We got to do better. All right, so now coming into week nine, we're playing against the Washington Commanders. They have one win this season. We better not lose to them. Now, y'all know, for us to be able to win games, our run game has to be at least decent. The Commanders have a pretty good D-line, so we'll, we'll see how this ends up going. With them boys having deer and pain on the inside, running stretch plays in this game will be amazing as Stevenson just gets to the outside, breaks a tackle. That was a great run. We need more of that. We're building up a pretty decent drive for our first drive of the game, and Hunter Henry catches his ball in the flats. He gets tackled. And he goes down with an injury. That's our starting tight end getting injured. That's not good. Third and eight. And really, Matt Jones could have threw me his ball off the cut, but instead he scrambles to the left side of the field and just throws the ball out of bounds. Defense did good in getting a stop, but we are all the way backed up. So at this point, all we can do is run the ball. And they see it, but we're getting a good amount of yards. Third and seven now. Now that we're no longer backed up against the end zone, we could pass the ball on third and seven. Matt Jones tried to throw a comeback route, but he inaccurately throws it. So it's fourth, we gotta punt the ball. The stretch plays has really been working for us and Stevenson gets to the outside, gets the first down, breaks the tackle, and they lucky that they had more teammates over there because he would've been gone. Second and six, and on his crossing route, I get open at the end of it, but Sweat gets there too fast and gets a sack on Mac Jones. If we can get some blocks, we can easily get some yards and on third and 13, we finally get a good amount of blocks and I get open, getting the first down and more, trying to juke them out, but it was too many defenders over there. Second down, and Matt Jones throws this dot to the receiver, getting the first down. Now we're first and goal. Too close to doing any pass and plays. An easy run in for Stevenson. I don't know who this cornerback is, but on third down, he was locking my shit up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Matt Jones ended up getting sacked. We got to punt the ball. Good defense by the defense. We're still up 10-3, and I catch this drag route trying to get the first down. Too many defenders in my way. Second and three. 
again with Matt Jones not putting the ball over the cornerback. I got a step on him, and he just he throws bullets every time. It was a high throw, but it's a bullet. Throw a lot. It's third and three. I'm running the corner route, top of route, and I beat him, obviously, on this route. I could have had a touchdown, probably, but he threw it to the other side of the field, and it was deflected. That's fourth down. We kind of been stepping away from the run a little bit, but we finally getting back to it, and Stevenson breaks off this huge run. Amazing blocks by us. It's first and goal. I'm running an out route, and all he had to do was put this ball perfectly to the back of the end zone, but I guess it's kind of hard to do. It got swatted. When you got a running back like Stevenson, when you're in the red zone, you might as well just get to running the ball. The old line pushed him forward into the touchdown, giving us the lead. They end up scoring, so it's a tie game. And the coach drew up this amazing play. They got Devontae Parker wide open for an easy touchdown. I don't know what they was doing. Great play. Great defensive stop. Now all we got to do is run the ball, and the game's over. We finally win another game. We win 24 to 17. I didn't have too much yards this game, though. Three catches, 42 yards. Still won the game. Matt Jones ain't really had too much yards, but hey, Stevenson was really carrying us this game. All right, man, now we're coming into week 10 against the Colts, and I'm going to be matched up against Julius Brents, the rookie cornerback on the Colts. Let's see how this goes. Colts started off this game scoring a touchdown, so we're down 7-0, and on second and one, he's just throwing his ball up to me off the rip, and I'm catching his ball on that boy, dunking on him, head top. Now mind you, Brent is like 6'4", 6'3", and I'm only like 5'10", pancaking that man, letting my running back get in for an easy touchdown. They scored again, so now we're still down the touchdown. We're trying to get some yards, but they breaking that up. Third and 10, and I'm running a drag route, trying to get this first down, so I'm angling up a little bit to get to the first down. Matt Jones throws the ball up. There's a flag on the field. We get the first. We're all the way in the red zone, but that does not matter because we get a holding call called on us. That's tough. Now we're third and 20, so we're forced to have to take a deep shot, and DeForest Buckner comes in for a big sack. We got to punt the ball now. This game is not looking good for us at all right now. I'm first and 10. I'm running the end route. I catch this ball. I was one yard short of the first down. But we get called for another holding call. We're backed up, so we're going to be, it's going to be, a, it's going to be bad. Like I said, this is terrible. Matt Jones is all the way backed up, and then the pressure starts getting him. He tried to scramble. He gets hit. He fumbles. He picks the ball up, but it's a safety, so we got to punt the ball, and they get two points. Yo, it is only the second quarter. We're down 26 to 7, but finally, Matt Jones finds our tight end wide open down the seams for an easy touchdown. Let's go. We might be down 26 to 14, but we got ball at half, so we have a chance to actually make this a one score game. We're getting this easy first down. Our offense has really been getting a lot better, and we're getting a lot more momentum right now. And on first and 10, Devontae Parker gets open across the middle of the field, getting to the sideline. We made it down the field, but they got us down to a third and two. We're trying to get a slant going on, but we cannot get the first down. It's fourth and two. Special teams actually decided to go for it on fourth and two, and they converted on fourth down. So now we still got the ball, getting this first down, getting close to the goal line. Coach assigned me to do a streak, but I did not want to do that. I just freestyled my own shit, did an in route, and caught this ball on the one-yard line. Then on third and goal, I really kind of wanted a fade route on this play, but Matt Jones found the tight end wide open for an easy touchdown. Let's go. Defense has really been coming in clutch. They've been having 26 points since the first half, and Matt Jones just overthrew me. I was wide open, destroyed him off the press, and he thinks he's good, but he's not. Mac Jones might have sold that pass, but this time he ain't selling it. Throwing his ball over the defense, and I'm way too fast for all them boys getting a touchdown. Come on. We have been playing an amazing game right now. We were down 26 to 7 at one point. I'm over here pancaking niggas. Now we just got to run the ball and try to get this clock all the way down. First and 10, we're trying to run an RPO. He just throws me the little screen, and I'm trying to juke out defender, but they was, came, they was coming in hot. 
And at the worst moment, we're trying to run the ball, trying to get the clock down. We ain't getting no yards on this run. And there was a holding call. So we're going back yards again. That's like the third, fourth holding call of this game. Now we're all the way back up. Third and 19. We got no choice but to try to go deep. And I'm on a post round. He still throws his ball. Luckily, it doesn't get picked off, though, because he was an idiot and just swat the ball down. And would you look at the defense coming through again? We're up 29 to 26 still. We're running this ball now. I don't see them niggas coming back to beat us. Third and 11. If Matt Jones throws this dot, the game is basically over. And he finds Devontae Parker on the right side of the field. And he makes this crazy contested catch on that boy. Let's go. That's game. Man, what a crazy game. A 26 to 7 comeback? Come on, boy. Honestly, I didn't even realize it. I had five catches, 136 yards, and a touchdown. That's a great game. Matt Jones had a great game, too. 14 for 22, 286 yards, three touchdowns, and no picks. That's all I can ask for you is no picks. All right, now, coming into this game against the Giants, I'm expecting this to be a pretty run-heavy game as they got Saquon, we got Stevenson. We'll see how it goes, though. Second and five, and Matt Jones throws the ball to the tight end on the corner out and fits it in perfectly in between these defenders, and the tight end made a great catch. But then on first and 10, I'm running the corner out, but Matt Jones can't see nobody because immediately off the line, Aziz Ajilari gets a sack. Second and long, I'm running the curl route. He throws me the ball here, but he throws it kind of under. I dropped the pass. Our offense looks kind of bad right now. It's third and 18. They pass was just getting there. Matt Jones probably could have got the ball to me, but instead, he throws the ball out of bounds so he doesn't get sacked. Down 10 to 0, and it's about time we finally start to get our run game going, running the stretch play, getting the first down. We got to do that more. Tried to run the ball. Now it's third down. I'm running the crossing route. Matt Jones throws me the ball, but he kind of throws it a little bit under my route. I still got it, but come on now. You got to throw that better. In the tight formation, I'm running a little out route. He's throwing me this ball, and I'm going to get this first down, but barely. Something that really pissed me off is the fact that Mac Jones could be throwing dots, but he just overthrows a lot of, like this right here could have been a, probably a touchdown, but he just overthrew it. First and 10 now, we're getting back to the run game, running the inside zone. I'm just pancaking niggas, and he getting that first down, fighting hard for it too. Now we're even closer to the touchdown, but guess what? Mac Jones ended up getting sacked, he fumbled, and they picked the ball up. Our offense has been pretty mid so far, and on first and ten, Matt Jones finds that receiver wide open in the middle of the field. We're getting this first down. Let's start building some momentum now. First and ten, and I'm running a little corner route, getting open towards the sideline. He's throwing me this ball. We're getting the first down. Then on this play, something, kind of, I mean, I ain't going to say it's good, but Dexter Lawrence ended up getting hurt on this play. I guess it'll make it a little bit easier for us. Whatever. Then on second down, I'm running the inside release, and I kill him off the release. He throws me the ball, and I'm scoring a touchdown. The Giants responded with a touchdown of their own, so we're down 10 points, and I'm on this curl route, and he throws it down. Like, I had to run back for it. Third and inches, running a little drag route, getting a little jig, juking out the defender, and then finally getting taken down after the first. And a lot, it's been looking like my drive, running the slant, getting the first down, trying to get jig a little bit, making somebody miss, but eventually got tackled. And right when we thought we was having a pretty decent drive, not getting sacked at all in this drive, Mac Jones ended up getting sacked. Now on third and long, we're running verticals, and this receiver ends up getting open. All Matt Jones had to do was put that ball there, and he just overthrew it completely. That could have been a touchdown. All right, now defense got to stop. So we're still only down a touchdown, but we don't got no timeouts here, and Matt Jones gets sacked, which was terrible. Him getting sacked meant that we had to spike the ball. So now it's third and 22. We don't really have a choice but to go for streaks, and he tried to throw the ball up to me, and Adore Jackson swats it down, fourth down. Fourth down, I told Mac Jones, just throw that ball to me again. I'm going to get his Zach. He threw it up, and I dunked on the door, Jackson, and getting out of bounds, too. This is the last play of the game, and for some reason, Mac Jones just threw it. Like, why didn't you wait till I got to the touchdown? I caught it, but it's over. We lose this game 17-10. to 10. Had another great game. 10 catches, 130 yards, and a touchdown, but we lost. And Mac Jones, he had a good game, too. It's just he made some dumb decisions. That's about it. But with that loss, we are now 5-6, and six, last in our division. And because of that, we are not in the playoffs. I don't know if we will make it. We're going to have to go on a streak if we want to make the playoffs. I mean, we're coming into week 13 playing against the Chargers. If we want a chance to make the playoffs, we're going to have to win this game. 
Now look, one thing I hate about Mac Jones, every time we try to do a wide receiver screen, he never throws it. He always ends up, he always waits too long to throw the ball, just throw it to me. But then sometimes when we need him to throw a dot, third and 12, he delivers some dots sometimes, but you know, shit happens. And somehow we always end up third down. And for some reason on third down, he decided not to throw me the ball wide open on the crosser route. He throws the ball out of bounds, so it's fourth down, we gotta punt the ball. But look at our defense coming through for us, just like they normally always do. And he hits me in the seams. I'm breaking the tackle and I'm almost getting gone, but there was a DB right there. Second and four, running a little drag where he's giving me this ball and I'm converting the first down, getting tackled. Then on first and 10, personally, I wanted him to throw this fade jump ball up to me, but instead he throws to the tight end who's wide open and he just overthrows it. That would have been a touchdown. Then on third and inches, I don't understand how this was incomplete. The receiver saw the ball, he just didn't react to it. That would have been a first down. Now it's fourth and inches. And honestly, I really couldn't tell you how we did not convert on fourth and inches. We, we should have been able to do that. I don't understand. Special teams end up going for it on fourth down, getting the touchdown on second level. I'm killing this DB with the corner route, and I'm burning him, and the safety can't catch me either. I'm taking this all the way home for six. Up 14 to six now, and somehow we always find ourselves third down, and he tries to fit that ball into the tight end, and it got swatted down. It's the third quarter now. We're down 15 to 14. I'm running the hour out, catching this ball, trying to get going, but the linebacker caught out to me, and our lineman just got injured. And on second and three, I'm running like an outside streak from the slot. He's just throwing this ball up to me. He ain't throw it over the guy. Like, he kind of threw a bullet. You know what I'm saying? I can't get that. One thing I have been doing this game is killing these boys off the out routes. I mean, they got this pass rusher guarding me on the out route. He's not going to be able to stop me. We slowly but surely got into the red zone on second and 10. Mac Jones getting his ball to the receiver. He's getting a third and one. The smartest thing we could possibly do is run the ball with Ramondre Stevenson. He's running the ball and he's getting pushed forward into the first down. Short one yard, a touchdown. Second to go, we're trying to pass the ball and then Mac Jones' dumb ass decides to run backwards instead of just stepping up and taking the sack. It's cool though, because on third and goal, he finds our tight end open in the end zone for a touchdown. Taking the lead. Defense got a big stop, so we're still up 22 to 15 in the fourth quarter now. I'm trying to run the ball, it's not really working. Then on third down, I'm running a little zig route. It does not get open yet, but Matt Jones has enough time for me to run back, and I have to get this ball, and I'm fighting for the first down after breaking the tackle. That was the last first down we needed. We win this game 22 to 15. Telling you, man, I've been having some pretty good games recently. Six receptions, 132 yards, and a touchdown. Matt Jones been getting a little bit better too. 15 for 26, 234 yards, and two passing touchdowns. Now, coming into week 14, I already have 1,123 receiving yards, 59 receptions, and eight touchdowns. I'm on pace to breaking the rookie receiving yard record. Still is having an amazing pass rush, but Mac Jones is going to have to lock in and deliver some dots. We're both open, and he throws to the under. I tried to block that boy, but he ended up tripping up Devontae Parker. Running a vertical type concept, and Juju gets open across the middle of the field, catching this ball, getting a big first down. We're building up a pretty good drive here, and I'm running the corner out, beating that DB, catching this ball, getting out of bounds. In the red zone, I'm running a little drag route, and I don't know why, but Mac Jones seen the blitz and tried to get away from it. He scrambles backwards, fumbles, and luckily we picked the ball back up. I have no idea why he decided to run backwards when the blitz was coming. He needs to just step up in the pocket and take the sack, so we not all the way back here. We're third and 23 now. Third and 23, and I'm deciding to run a little post route, trying to get closer to the touchdown. I catch this ball trying to make a miss, but he hit me before I can even do anything. We're closer for the field goal. At least that's what I thought. Special teams actually went for it on fourth down. I'm getting this post route, beating that DB, breaking tackles, making people miss, and he caught me. I was finna be gone, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we gotta have like the top blocking receivers in the league. Like, just look at the lane we created, our old linemen with our receivers. That's a touchdown. It's the end of the second quarter, a tie game. I'm running a little C route, and he just overthrows this. I would have caught this, got up the field, got out of bounds. It's third and 10, and I'm running up the seams. He's throwing this ball straight to me. I'm catching it, I'm trying to juke out the defender, but I could. 
Then on third and three, we're running four verts again, and he's throwing his ball to the scenes again. It's a dot. I caught that ball, too. First down. We end up getting a field goal on that drive, and that's the third quarter. We're running the ball, and just look at the blocks. Look at the pancakes we getting over here. Stevenson breaking the tackle, getting up the field. Let's go. We're up the field, third and five, and I'm running a little wheel route. He's throwing me the ball, and I'm getting a hit, and I'm dropping the ball. I got to be able to catch that. And a lot, sometimes our special teams need to just go ahead and take the field goal. So we're still up three points, but defense did get the stop. So we're still up three points. The amount of inaccurate passes that could easily be first downs by Mac Jones is just ridiculous. Hopefully the next season, he'll be a lot better at completing these type of passes. At this point, we on their side of the field. We just trying to run the ball, get the clock down a little bit. Hopefully we can get some points out of this drive too. But then on second down, we're just pounding the rock, trying to keep on running the ball, and then Ramondre Stevenson gets hit. He fell down wrong, and he ends up getting injured. Not good. We ain't really got too much of a choice but to pass the ball. Third and seven, run the out route. He ain't throw it, but I ran up the field, and he threw it, and it's a dot. Touchdown. We beat the Steelers 24-14. Another great game for me. Six catches, 140 yards, and a touchdown. As long as Mac Jones isn't throwing picks, he's having good games. That's all that matters to me. All right, now we're coming into this game against the Chiefs, and this is what I think is my first snow game of my career, and it's starting off pretty bad. Chiefs defense is already on our ass. We can't really do nothing right now. Third and 16, Mac Jones is forced to throw the ball out of bounds. We got to punt it. Chiefs scored, so we're down 7-0, and I'm running a corner route, and Matt Jones tried to get this ball to me, trying to fit the ball in, but there's multiple defenders there. Second and 10, I'm running a crosser route, and I'm getting open across the middle of the field. He's throwing me the ball, making a defender miss, then getting taken down halfway up the field. Second and three, and we getting into these out routes like we always do, trying to get this easy first down. Matt Jones puts that ball there, and I'm making a great catch. Then on first and 10, coach draws up a perfect play to get Devontae Parker wide open on the streak for a touchdown. We scored and the Chiefs score right back, running the in route, catching this ball, getting the first down, taking a hit. Still caught it though. One thing you cannot do against a team like the Chiefs is mess up one time because if you do, you are going to pay for it. He throws his ball into double coverage and it gets picked off, bro. And now because of that, they scored before half. So now we're down two scores in the third quarter. I'm trying to get around this defender. I break the tackle, but too many people around me. Third down, and listen, we have to score on this drive. So I'm running the cross route, and I'm not open yet. So I come back, and he throws me the ball, and I'm making a crazy grab. Now, I don't know if Matt Jones looked at the playbook and now knew what play we was running, but he threw it to me off the cut when I was supposed to double move it. Like, what are you doing? Then on second and 10, I run a curl route, and he just completely throws the ball to the right side, and I end up dropping the ball, because where are you throwing the ball at? Though, I really should have caught it. Then on third and 10, we got a wide open receiver on an out route. Matt Jones just underthrows it completely. That was a first down right there. The Chiefs damn near scored points on every single one of their drives, and yeah, we're just starting to fall behind all the way. I mean, at this point, we really just got to try to score fast and build up some momentum on offense, but it's going to be hard to do if Matt Jones isn't throwing good passes. Especially, it's going to be hard to do if Matt Jones is throwing picks out like he does on second and 10, giving him this ball, and I had to chase him all the way down to make sure he didn't score pick six. Yes, this game is clearly over. We're down 38-7 to in the fourth quarter, but I still want my stats, though, and he just completely overthrew me. We made all the way to the red zone. I'm killing this DB off the press, and I'm scoring my touchdown. I'm going to get mine. I don't care. Well, this is very humiliating. I mean, people were expecting this anyway. Still had a pretty good game, though. Six catches, 92 yards, and a touchdown. But, man, Matt Jones, he won on a streak of not throwing picks. But then against the Chiefs, he threw two picks. We, we cannot have that happening no more. Please stop. Coming into week 16, we are currently not in the playoffs, and I don't know how we're going to make it because we're last in our division too. Though we might not have a chance to make the playoffs, we still got these last two weeks, and, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and ball out anyway. Broncos started this game off with a touchdown. I'm running a drag route, trying to make a person miss, and I'm getting lit up by their linebacker. Almost knocked my head off. Matt Jones dotted us up the field and on first and 10. Ramondre Stevens is trying to run the ball. More defenders around, and somebody punched the ball out. They end up recovering it. It's not good. 
But just look at the defense coming through for us when we need them the most. And Mac Jones finds his receiver coming back away from his route, getting the first down. It's big yards. Mac Jones has very high highs and very low lows. For some reason, he decides to throw this ball straight to the linebacker. I wouldn't even open. I don't know why he threw that. That was stupid. All right, now we're down 10 to 0. I'm running the end route, and guess what he does again? He tests that linebacker one more time. That's two picks he done thrown, and this linebacker down there took it all the way for six. Mistakes just keep on piling on, and Matt Jones just keep on showing how trash he is. I got to step over this safety, and he just completely overthrows it. I would have had a touchdown, bro. This DB is dumb for pressing me. I'm beating him off the press using my speed and catching this ball, and ain't no way nobody catching me. That's a touchdown. We're down 17 to seven, but it's only the beginning of the third quarter and Mac Jones throwing his dot to the corner route, getting the first down. Further down the field on third and five and I'm getting past the defense, getting in between the zones, but he overthrows me. I would've caught that and probably juked out the defender and scored. We somehow got out of that drive without any points, no field goal, no nothing, and the blitz comes in and hits Mac Jones for five yards. We're down by multiple possessions in the fourth quarter, but I'm not done. I'm still at least going to get some stats. We can still come back and try to win this game. Obviously, the main person that's holding us back is Mac Jones. Like, the decision making, that he, he just doesn't make good decisions at all. I don't know why he would throw that pass. Like, he would throw that last one, but he wouldn't throw this after I killed this dude off the press. And I could have got that ball immediately, but instead he throws to the tight end. Still got the first down, though. We made it all the way to the one-yard line, and we get Ramon J. Stevenson to run the ball in. This was a game I feel like we could have won, but you know, the little things. In this game, I had four catches, 100 yards, and a touchdown. Matt Jones was accurate, but he threw two picks that really costed us the game. It's obvious we ain't gonna make the playoffs, but I'm right there next to getting the rookie receiving yard record. I might break it this game. Week 17 against the Bills, and we're starting off this game pretty terrible. Matt Jones is already throwing a pick to start off the game. What a start. Matt Jones threw a pick and they scored. We can't let that keep us down. I'm getting this guy. I have a step over this guy, but Matt Jones does not have the throw power to get the ball where it needs to be. Ends up getting deflected. But then I had probably one of my craziest plays of the season. Running this little post in and route, breaking a tackle, and I'm going way too fast for anyone to catch me. Touchdown. Defense got to stop, and now we're out here trying to do a jet sweep. We haven't really been using too much, but it just got stopped immediately. Then on third and nine, the Bills decided to run man, and it was perfect for them because they locked us up, and Mac Jones had no choice but to try to throw the ball out of bounds. Fourth down, we got to punt the ball. Surprisingly, our defense is stopping Josh Allen and the Bills pretty efficiently now, and he's throwing his curl around, and luckily I caught it, and it was not a pick. Then on third down, I try to break down this cornerback, but my release is not that good. Matt Jones has nobody throw the ball until he gets sacked. We got to kick the field goal. Another good stop by defense. We're up three points, and I'm getting a step on him, but Matt Jones decides to throw a straight bullet instead of lofting it over his head. I promise you I would have scored that touchdown if he did that. It's not my fault. The defense held him to only three points, though, so now we're trying to get back into this run game, and Stevenson is running that ball. Short one yard, though. And one of our starting tackles got injured. Second and one, I'm using my speed, doing this little cross around. Matt Jones getting me this ball. I'm catching it, trying to get up the field, but he made a good tackle on me. On third and inches, run the RPO, and Matt Jones throws me the ball. I'm juking the life out of this cornerback, getting downhill. They're lucky that they had more people up over the top. Then on third and goal, I'm running the slant, trying to catch this ball, but he ends up making me deflect it. Fourth and goal. We kicked the field goal, but the defense got another stop. Now we're up three points. I'm catching this out route, getting the first down. Now in the red zone on second and nine, somehow Mac Jones, how did he inaccurately throw that pass? It was like five yards ahead of him. Then on third and nine, the coach drew up a perfect play to get this guy wide open for a touchdown, put it to the back of the end zone. It's a dot, but he dropped the ball. Took another field goal, defense got another stop, and we're down here in the red zone again. Devontae Parker catching this ball, getting to the one. We surprisingly dominated the Bills thanks to our defense. I had a great game too. Six catches, 128 yards, and a touchdown. And Mac Jones was doing his best to lose this game, throwing two picks and one touchdown. Not even 200 passing yards. And now coming into week 18, I have broken the 
rookie receiving yard record, and I'm just going to go ahead and extend it. We're starting off this game on time, and DJ Reed guarding me, and I'm burning him over the top. Matt Jones puts this on the money. I was not expecting him to do that, and I'm scoring an easy touchdown first drive. After that touchdown, defense got a stop, and Matt Jones is throwing this dot to the tight end down the field on the corner route. First down. I don't know what's going on with Matt Jones, but whenever he plays against the Jets, he starts going crazy and actually throwing good passes. That's a good dot. But then right when I say something good about him, I'm running a crossing route. He throws his ball behind me. That could have easily been picked off. Second and 10, and I'm beating DJ Reed over the top. Matt Jones sees it and tries to put the ball to the back of the end zone, but DJ Reed actually catches up and swats it. Third and 10, there's actually a route on the other side of the field, an out route that he could have made the pass to, but it was completely inaccurate. Jets actually scored this time, so only up three points. We got to put some points on the drive, and I'm getting hit. Second and four, running the out route. He's throwing me this ball. I'm catching and making a tough catch. Then on third and ten, we need Matt Jones to throw a dot, and he does just that. The receiver catches the ball, makes a great catch, gets the first down. Then on first and ten, I'm running the corner route. He tries to get this ball fitted into me, but it was too many defenders in the way. I could not hold on to the ball. Run the slant route, and he actually throws me this ball with both of these defenders closing in on me. I end up dropping it. Third and 10, and me and Devontae Parker are both crossing across the field, and I'm bringing the cornerbacks attention side. Devontae Parker can catch this ball and get down the field, but he ends up fumbling. Good thing it was out of bounds. With Ramondre Stevenson, that running back, you have no choice but to run the ball. He's getting in there for an easy touchdown. And would you just look at how great the, de the defense has just been amazing. As long as our, bro, next season, if our offense can just lock in, we're going to be great. It's only the third quarter, the beginning of the third quarter, but we're running the air out the ball right now just to give them less time to try to come back in this game. As long as we get a field goal or a touchdown, we're going to be good. Especially when everybody on the field is blocking amazingly right now, and Stevenson is just breaking tackles, getting down the field. He's just amazing. Run the ball again, but up the middle, and an easy hole gets opened up for Stevenson. He gets the first down, and he is fighting for this touchdown. He isn't able to get it. They've been stopping the run at the goal line, but they ain't stopping me. Slant, touchdown. Crazy how we just beat two good teams in the last two games, but we didn't make the playoffs. I ended this game with four catches, 84 yards, and two touchdowns. And Matt Jones didn't throw no picks. That's exactly what we need for him next season so we could be good. And as y'all can see, the season is over, and we did not end up making the playoffs. But as a rookie, I led the league in receiving yards and tied in touchdowns. And of course, of course, I did make the Pro Bowl, but honestly, I'm not trying to play that. It has no meaning to play the Pro Bowl anymore. It's real fluky now. I really don't care about it at all. To cap off this season, the Chiefs end up beating the Giants in the Super Bowl. Mahomes with MVP, Lamar with Offensive Player of the Year, Aaron Donald, Defensive Player. I won Offensive Rookie of the Year, and Brent's off the coast won Defensive Rookie of the Year. Y'all think we're going to be able to make the playoffs next season, or is Matt Jones going to be trash again?